Well, hello and welcome back here to Fading Hearts. And here we are back in Ryo's bedroom. Still hasn't changed his bed sheet. Yeah, we've decided that, that shirt is actually a pattern. That's <laughs> you know, he's been using those bed sheets for a whole week. You know, they're gonna start to get a bit messy. That's just wrong. <laughs> I'm here with the uh, the wonderful, the lovely, the incredible April and Laura. Uh, uh, and quite quite aptly, uh, the last time we left, we were f suddenly feeling strangely lightheaded and weak. We'll try to notice the difference. Well, we're slap fighting scorpions in the forest. <laughs> yes. All, I hope I'm not getting sick. Maybe if I lie down and rest for a bit, my head will stop buzzing. I make my way to the bed, slowly to avoid falling. It's a tiny room you could fall over and land on the bed. <laughs> but the dizziness gets progressively worse with every step. I stumble and fall to the floor. The bed right there. <laughs> Get on the bed, dummy. Yeah. On top of that, my vision is giving out and there's this strange humming noise. Whatever I'm coming down with must be pretty nasty and strangely tuneful. I think I think I'd be going nine 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 if that's how I was feeling. It's nine one one here. Oh well. <laughs> ah. Unfortunately, you're in Japan, so neither of those would work. <laughs> two two two. Uh, I pick. <laughs> I pick myself up and, with some effort, manage to drag myself into bed. Seriously, though. No. What kind of bug caused tinnitus? Tinnitus? <laughs> tinnitus, isn't it? Head. Tinnitus, yes. Yeah, it's tinnitus. Yeah. No, it's tinnitus. It's Bob. What sort of bug causes <laughs> Bob? And even <laughs> oh with my, my eyes God. closed, I still, I, I still keep seeing these bright flashes of light. What gives? And would they please put the torch down? He's having a stroke. Mm. Uh -huh. Reflexively, I cover my eyes in a vain attempt to block out the light, but... Ow! My hands are burning hot! Also story I know I was going to say. <laughs> April says you every day, honey. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> My eyes spring open to see them glowing softly and I bolt, sitting upright. What the? I must have a fever so bad I'm delusional. Yeah, that would explain what I'm seeing and why my hands are so hot. <sighs> Normally it's the rest of me that's hot. <laughs> I lie down and shut my eyes to sleep it off, but as the minutes tick by, the lights go away and my head starts to feel clearer. Unfortunately, I've just set fire to the bed. Cautiously, <laughs> I open one eye to check my hands. Yep, still glowing. Well, this was certainly unexpected, to say the least. Gingerly, I reach an index finger to my cheek, but stop when I feel the heat radiating from it. Even though they feel completely normal to me, my hands are scalding hot for some reason. I wiggle my fingers and flex my wrist experimentally. Mm, teenage boy in bed flexing. No, let's not do that one. And the light from my hands trails after me like a tail of a comet. By all rights, I should be flipping out right about now. Yep, but somehow the situation doesn't seem all that unnatural. I guess I've read too many stories about ordinary people suddenly developing magical powers. I start tracing figures into the air, and then, for fun, I draw a magical symbol from Alex's favourite shows. The light in my hands intensifies, and I can feel power gathering in preparation to be used. Alright then, let's see if I can figure out what to do from here. Unfortunately, the summon naked teenage girl into my bedroom spell didn't work. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't expect that to actually work. Can I do it again? My heart pounding, I steady my shaking hands and carefully trace the symbol out one more time. A small blast of light erupts from my fingers and strikes a glass I left sitting out, instantly shattering it into a million pieces. I know. I counted them. Well, that settles that. I'm definitely not seeing things. <laughs> I clean up the broken glass. It, he is so accepting of this, isn't he? I clean up the broken glass, and in, and in doing so, notice the light and heat have faded from my hands. 
I try the spell one more time just to be sure, but as I expected, nothing happens. He's a level two mage, you can only prepare two spells. Yep. So I'm actually gonna make myself a sandwich. <laughs> Lie down. Yeah. Maybe watch the wire. This must be my limit for today. Probably it'll come back after I get some rest. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Incredibly, there is such thing as real magic, but why would I, of all people, suddenly discover it? What set it off? And why on earth does a made-up spell from an anime series actually work? Is it possible that other spells from that series would work? What about spells in manga? No, only anime. As tempting as it would be to run around showing it off, it doesn't take me long to realise I'm better off keeping quiet about this. If word gets out, I'll probably end up in some sort of secret government research facility. Come to think of it, that explains a lot. Everyone else who discovered it before I did either realized this and stayed silent, or they wound up in government custody. You learned Dispel. Next on, you'll learn another spell. That spell. You learned Magic Blast. We should buy more books. Mm, I think we should. Should we buy some more books? Yeah. Let's see, how much money have we got? We've got $127. Yeah, that'll buy us a few spells, won't it? Um, uh, use computer, uh, that's it. Use computer, shop online. Uh, manga, wasn't it? Mom. Yeah. So, another provisional princess. Yeah. Yeah. Five, four. You Probably get the next volume. Uh, three. Oh, these are well sorted, aren't they? A provisional. Yep. Shout out for you see a provisional princess volume two. There we go. Oh, right there. It will arrive in three days. Yeah. How much money? Get Amazon we... Prime, punk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually check. Uh, no, check bookshelf. What have we got? What books have we got? Read a book. No. Um, yeah, you've already read the other yeah. ones. Um, um, should we call someone? Should we freak out at Rena? Mm, yeah. Maybe. Oh, we can only freak out at Claire. Let's freak out at Claire. Yeah. <laughs> I dial Claire's number and listen to <laughs> Laura. Laura rejoice in the fact she doesn't have to do much this episode. <laughs> That's a strange <laughs> ringtone, but it's my ringtone and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yo. Hi, Claire. Want to hang out sometime? <laughs> no. Sure thing. Why don't we go... Why don't we go to the park? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's my turn. <laughs> Why don't we go to the park and talk for a bit? Let's meet up tomorrow. What should I do today? Should we go... Let's go outside. Let's see if we can try out that spell. On the park. Watch oh. night. <laughs> Since he is running. I'm getting used to that clicking. Yeah. Since mm -hmm. it's night time, the woods are undoubtedly crawling with predators. Really? <laughs> Not to mention the shadowy kind. I'm really getting bored with that line. What should I do? <laughs> Go into the forest. I still don't know why there are all these strange shadow creatures around here, but if I don't investigate, I'll never find out. At least I can defend myself a little with the magic I learned. He dies. Oh, yes. <laughs> I walk around the forest for a while. Ah! What a surprise. <laughs> Another what shadow is... darts out from the underbrush and leaps to attack. It's Shambara, no! Regain all mag magic points using one puss. Okay. <laughs> magic! Magic blast! And... Let's do another magic blast. Oh. oh! Insect Shadow takes 595 points of damage. Takes 549 points of damage. And we level up. There. <laughs> hey. Right, so we get... Well, do we get anything? Oh, yes, we do. Speed goes up and <laughs> dex goes up. Uh, oh, and attack and defense goes up. Okay. Oh, and level goes up. Yeah, I feel really good now. Those are, some, yeah. those are some old, old, old MMO stats right there. Just a bit, yes. Mm -hmm. Another one bites the dust. Hey! Let's explore. 
Laura, you're so quiet. What's happening? I'm standing up. Why? My butt was numb. Are you doing calisthenics? <coughs> no. Hold on. Are you doing topless calisthenics? Always. Please, please. Would you like to send a picture? Please <laughs> stop driving my viewers into a frenzy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. My bum was completely numb and I thought I need to stand up here. You need me to come in and slap it. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't April, those rumours will start again. <laughs> <laughs> eh, so what? <laughs> oh, we get another action now. Yeah. 89, 82. Yeah, I thought oh, just one of them would be enough. Alright, okay, let's go home. Boom. Mm. I go to bed and fall asleep. Mm hmm. I make a point of arriving at the park precisely on time so Claire won't be able to find fault with me. What are you wearing? <laughs> Yo. I knew Yo. it wouldn't last. Well, at least I'm not wearing the same thing I wear every day. I turn <laughs> or around. Where are you? <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm naked, painted blue. I think this is about normal. I, I turn around to find Claire waving at me. I wave back and jog up to her. Then I stop and realize it would be much more fun if I got her to jog to me. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Not bad. Looking forward to a nice stroll through the park with you. Have you seen any of those shadow scorpions? <laughs> um, yes. I've been picking bits out of my hair all night. <laughs> Same here. Claire looks relaxed and untroubled. And I'm able to breathe a mental sigh of relief. His brain breathes. Oh, yeah. It oozes and whistles as well, which is a scary thing to hear. His fontanelle never closed. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure there are things bothering her, but as long as she can smile wholeheartedly like that, I'm sure she'll be okay. Seeing it makes me feel better about everything. The two of us set out at an easy pace along one of the park's many paths. What should we talk about? <laughs> Well, I know what's more interesting. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, any any choices? Sorry? Boyfriend. Boyfriend? Okay. Boyfriend. Let's talk about the boyfriend. I have to get through to Clara about her boyfriend somehow. Maybe if I talk about him in neutral terms, she'll open up to me. Good so, tell me about that git, Claire. What's he like? <laughs> oh, sorry. Huh? <laughs> Well, he's a sweet guy. He brings me flowers sometimes. Like, ones I'm allergic to, but I guess it's not count. <laughs> well, it's, it's fortunate his route, route to your apartment takes him through the cemetery. <laughs> really? That's nice. I'm having trouble imagining Claire as the sort of girl who enjoys getting flowers from a guy. I guess Sophia was right when she said that she has other sides I've never seen. You'd better believe it. I'm a little surprised that that kind of guy is your type, though. What kind of things do you talk about? Mostly murdering you. He's going through a rough time right now, so I'm doing my best to support him. You can't kill him, he's not called William. To be honest, it was a little risky to come here meet you, here to meet you. He wants me to be around him all the time right now. Because of that, he gets frustrated pretty easily. Frustrated? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, I would just do the mental one, maybe. I... Well, she might open up for if he says it, it must be hard. No, or you could poss do possible. Well, frustrated, she would clarify it, maybe. Would you? Okay, let's go with frustrated. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, um, I think, yeah, it might open up, but I don't think she's that sort of person. Okay. Look, it's not what you're thinking. You and Rena can both stop worrying, okay? But we're so good at it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, whatever. But I want to worry about you, Claire. I just... Shut up, Rena. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to get going now. I just remembered something I forgot to take care of. It's, like, way better than you in every way, and isn't it ugly? Yes, I forgot <laughs> to grease the budgery gar. <laughs> Claire, wait. See you, Rio. Okay. She turns away from me and walks off without another word. I can't stop worrying, though. If anything, I'm even more worried than before. But they're both, like, pushing her to the point where she doesn't want to talk to them, which is reinforcing their idea. Yeah. 
that there's something wrong. Dummies. <laughs> I spend some time practicing my magic. I would not stop. <laughs> Uh, well, I remember what uh, you know, my mother told me. You know, if, I, if you keep on practicing magic, you'll go blind. Uh, <laughs> okay. Can we do some work. Uh, I was just thinking, what sort of money we got? We got 115. In fact, let's do some. Yeah, do some work wouldn't hurt, would it? Sure. Um, um, any preference? Mm. Uh -huh, social media. Done. Um, Laura's good at social media. Yeah, let's do some more SEO for them. Let's see. We, let's see what happens if we max one of these out. I like these okay. social media. Mm. <laughs> I go to bed and fall asleep. The prince has returned. I hear the fanfare of the royal orchestra as I walk down the plush red carpet. My knights stand at attention to the left and right of me, each holding their wands and staves in a ceremonial salute. Oh, look at them. Yeah. All hail His Royal Highness the Prince! All hail His Royal Highness the Prince! The adoring crowds cheer wildly as I continue to walk past them, with my sword at my hip as always. Then, my royal mother, the queen, raises her hand, and everyone immediately falls silent. She really needs to wash those armpits. <laughs> Who wants to be the royal mother? Um, okay. My dear subjects. Mrs. Potsdam begins in a clear, stately nope. voice. Yes, yeah, she's not going to go, <laughs> <laughs> In a celebration of your prince's return, there will be a... Mm, yeah, there will be a banquet of such splendor as the realm has never seen. Afterward, my son will be eagerly waiting your invitations as we dance until dawn. I actually like to think of her more as a Pastrada character. Um, okay. Not that yeah, I know what that means, but yes, okay, fine. You've never seen Pippin? You love Pippin. <laughs> a number of people that ask me questions, have you ever seen? I think you at least would know better. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes again, asking me about programs I've never seen and probably never will. <laughs> Making declarations without ever consulting me. Even though I'm tired from my journey, my puss is low, I have no choice but to honor her promise on my behalf. It's a musical from the 60s. <laughs> I look around at both the royal knights in my retinue and the crowd all magic-wielding citizens, every one of their faces is alight with excitement at the upcoming event, and I realize they're all armed. I'm suddenly glad that I spent so much time working on my endurance. No, <laughs> <laughs> no doubt I have a very long night ahead of me. April. <laughs> Sorry. Your line. Come. <laughs> it's probably going to happen at least once. My royal mother bids me. Take your seat so the preparations for the banquet may begin. Did my mother just tell me to assume the position? Wordlessly, I obey. <laughs> to each side of me, several high-ranking knights and magic users are beginning to transform. As the spells take hold, they appear to be decked in long, glittering ball gowns, while their hair is done up in the latest mode. The rest, who don't yet know the transformation spell, scurry out of the courtyard to make their own preparations. I see a few utilizing magic to make giant leaps, while others are hastily flying to the to exit the castle. I think that seems elaborate. <laughs> Yeah, I know what that is too. Girl. I love the labyrinth. I've seen it. It's amazing. It's such a good film. There you, you have go. Seen it? One I've seen. Okay. Yay! Uh. Quite amazing. <laughs> <laughs> So let me tell you about the babe. Uh, there seems to be an entire industry devoted to people's superficial banquet preparations. My royal mother is fond of holding them on short notice, so people have built establishments that charge to have transformation spells applied. I think my long absence probably hurt their business though. The palace stewardesses and their assistants bustle into the hall, each trained to, to point out the exits on the airplane, with their finely honed levitation magic. 
Just the 15 of them can fill the castle's great hall with 200 tables, thousands of chairs, and place the dinnerware within five minutes. It always looks like someone will get hurt, or something will break when I see that all that furniture and cutlery flying around, but it never actually happens. Or at least they never tell us when it does. They hustle and bustle about, tables and silverware flying everywhere in their wake. As I take my seats, the palace stewardesses greet the, greets me with a smile and sets up my table in front of me. Right now, only the girls who use their own transformation magic to get ready are in attendance. They walk toward me in their dazzling dresses, each one vying to outdo the other in richness and attention to detail. Um, both Your of you together? Oh, Minnie Mouse. <laughs> Your Highness, may I have the may honor have the of the first, first dance? dance. They... Oh, is it supposed to be a man? <laughs> it's supposed to be like the chorus. I'm, I'm being a dude. You're being a lady. Okay. You know, whatever. And <laughs> or whatever that is. To, you don't have to go <laughs> sis on this. You know. <laughs> and, and to completely complete all the options. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Stevie Nicks? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> mm. I notice there are more girls who have mastered transformation magic since I left. The thought gives me a sudden idea. I transform <laughs> my mouse itself into a mouse and bolt. <laughs> Very well. I shall dance first with the one who most recently mastered a new level of magic. Isn't that me? That's the prince. Oh, okay. Or indeed, yeah, sort of the monarch formerly known as prince. Okay, because they just asked the... Yeah. yeah, I got you. Yeah. We're good. I'm shutting up now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our first. I can't hear you. I'm trying to I don't know I knew it wouldn't last. <laughs> Se <laughs> Several girls' faces light up. And they squeal with excitement. Sorry. Um, Several girls' faces light up and they squeal with excitement. They clap their feet together. <laughs> <laughs> While I enjoy making them smile, I can already tell this will be a very long night indeed. Good thing you worked on that endurance. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> My dreams start something inside me. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a couple of minutes left. So, uh, we can try talking to Sophia about magic, but it's probably not going to do anything. Should we go somewhere else? Yeah. Um. Uh, right. I'm getting. A, I'm getting a feeling here. Okay, the cosplay um, cafe might actually help us here a lot. Um, because it's you know it's going to be the manga, the anime that's going to change the world. So I'm actually wanting to go back there if you guys don't mind. Yeah. Yep. You just want to call the master. Yeah. Want us to call you master? I mean, I, I well, just make it. You told a, me that you already did. Just makes a pleasant change, yeah. <laughs> Normally it's scum. And I said no. Oh. And then he said that April does, and I thought, okay, yeah, I've been doing it ever true. since. Damn, <laughs> damn. I knew this wouldn't last until after we talked. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back, Matt. No. What, what's, my, what's my accent with her? Scottish? The same one. <laughs> No, it's no. <laughs> it, was, well, it was pretty similar. It was better. Welcome back, master. There you go. Yeah, just softer. Oh, we can shop here. Oh. Let's shop. Oh. Let's shop. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Just books. Oh, but this, can this, uh, we can just, cents. we can just buy them. Ah. Oh. Right. All right. Let's get Prince's tail. So cheap. Uh, and while we're here, Provisional Princess Volume 3. Okay, and now we can spend some money and read. <laughs> How much time we got? Uh, we're just about out of time. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to end it here. And we yeah. will pick this up and regale you with another story next episode. Okay. So until then. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please leave a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It uh, just feeds my ego and makes me feel much better. 
<laughs> he cries if you don't. I do. Yeah, he does. I do. I, I phone them up and I go, nobody subscribes to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And if you haven't gone and seen these guys channels go and see these guys channels if you've only seen one of them go and see the other and then go back and see the other presents for the second time it's well worth it so <laughs> <Thank you>. <laughs> until the next time <laughs> i've been simon parsons these two have been wonderful beautiful beautiful amazing <laughs> fantastic thank you and will probably no longer call me master but never mind god it is like pulling teeth to get a compliment out of you Simon. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> it will never happen. Thank you and good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>